My name's not McLovin, but I love this t-shirt. Funny movie. Okay. Today's adventure in Pirate Booty is to save and restore my refrigerator, ice box, thermal box, whatever you want to call it. Later, I'm going to put in a isotherm and actually have it cool. That way, when I go on the weekends and, you know, do some work, I'll have, I'll just plug it in. But for now, I have it relatively cleaned up inside, but the lid, I have to redo and sand and, and get better and put some knobs on it and I'm going to show you how to do that in a couple of few minutes here. Now, with any project, it takes a lot more than you think, so this one hopefully is not too bad. So when I go out this weekend, I'm going to be painting and doing that stuff. But for today, I'm going to save my refrigerator lid. Let's talk about this ugly thing. This has been rotted out and stuck in. There used to be a lift pin hard on your little finger. That's not a great way to lift it up. And look at those beautiful colors, paint splotches, etc. <clears throat> so, the overall, it's in good condition. This thing weighs, I don't know, 15 pounds. I got your pizza for you. I need a $15. Okay, no. But, <clears throat> it's in good condition. Clean it up, <clears throat> make it better. Now, what I plan to use are two of these knobs. I got some nice, kind of cool ones as you can see. Make it comfortable for the hand to pull it up. I have two of these. So, because this weighs so much, you can imagine lift up with this little thing here. Where'd the other one go? All right, so this, today's project's gonna be sand this guy down. We're gonna be using some Rust-Oleum heavy enamel paint. And then I'm gonna clear coat it to give it a good bright shine. I kinda want this to stand out versus the rest of the cabinet. This will be the little showpiece. I want it shiny. I'm not going to spray paint this because as a rule, you know, that's just such a light, fine coat. You'd have to put 70 on. I can keep spraying it day after day. And you know, okay, fine. But in the end, good thick epoxy, apply stroke, stroke, and then stroke this way, and brush this way. Make sure it's level. It'll dry beautifully. Light sand between coats which I'll probably put two or three on here. All right, with that, let's get to making this refrigerator lid, cooler lid, whatever you want to call it, looking better. Okay, after the base first sanding, I took apart this old rusted out lift hinge, and needless to say, some yucky yucky here. So I'm gonna clean that up and probably fill it up with epoxy, resin and uh, peanut butter and level it up. All right, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. Uh, when you're trying to fill holes like this, my gray light in my garage, take a good dark marks a lot and kind of position your cloth as close as you can to the edge here. And then just tap the inside of the hole, not the outside, just kind of follow the contours. And then do that a couple of times. Because what we're going to do is just fill this up with some fiber filler and I'm going to use this for the body. Yes, I could fill it chock full of uh, fiberglass resin, wouldn't be a big deal. It's got plenty of room to get in there and grab, so that's one option. but. And forbid, you know, I'm just gonna do, put the list in there for strength so that it doesn't rot. My trusty scissors. I just want like three because fiberglass resin can crack and et cetera, et cetera. It's very strong. But also in a high, like when it's kind of high here, it'll heat up very quickly. That's that thermobaric reaction. And you notice, I want you to notice my very 
shockingly um, great designs here that I'm making. I swear to God, you feel like you're going back to grade school cutting stuff, you know? Again, this is just bulk to get that body. It's folded over, I'm not too worried. What I don't want anything is hanging up because that is a pain in the ass to um, sand off. So why give yourself extra sanding, burn into this wood when you can just let these things do it for you. So key goal, nothing sticks out. Kind of like stuffing a pipe, I guess. I don't know. I never smoked a pipe. Disgusting. So I think you guys get the idea. Well, that's all, folks. Hey,